So we make that assumption in calorimetry, calorimetry that the heat that's leaving the reaction of the bread burning is going to be equal to the heat that goes into the water. That's your Q uh, in equals negative Q out. Or it could be Q out equals negative Q in, depending on how you look at it. We're going to let this burn completely. It looks like it's starting to fade down a little bit. When it stops, I'll turn off the oxygen. But then I'll keep stirring until I get the highest temperature reached. So the burning has stopped. I'll stop the oxygen, then continue stirring. And I want to continue stirring until the highest temperature is reached to make sure that all the heat released from the bread has gotten into the water. So we've reached our highest temperature here. So if you can record your final temperature of your water is 25.1 degrees Celsius. Next we need to let the crucible cool. Hot objects uh, have uh, hot air currents around them that lift up those objects and make them appear lighter on the balance, so that's why we want to let it cool. Uh, for time's sake, we're going to assume that we have let this cool. We're going to go ahead and get the mass. Before I do that, though, I'll show you that there's very little of anything left inside the crucible as the bread has burned very completely. It's mostly just a little bit of ash in there. So our cooled crucible on the balance, the mass after combustion for the bread in the nickel crucible is 13.12 grams. So record that in your data table. Now you should have all the data you need to fill out the rest of the handout uh, about the calculations to find out how many calories per the gram there are in bread.